Hi, I'm Gaurav Pandit, Senior Data Engineer for Google Cloud Cortex Framework. And today, I'm excited to talk about how data goes from zero to hero with Google Cloud Cortex Data Foundation and how Cortex data processing templates help you kickstart your data and insights journey. In previous videos, we covered how Google Cloud Cortex framework delivers not just the reference architecture to solve business problems, but also provides solution content, templates, and deployment accelerators centered on a data foundation built on BigQuery. Specifically, Cortex Data Foundation includes predefined data processing scripts and data models for strategic data sources like Google, SAP, Salesforce, and more. But how can I get started with this content, you might ask? Well, everything starts with data. As long as data is landed in BigQuery in its raw format with the same granularity as it is in the source, the predefined Cortex templates and content will connect and work. For example, for SAP, we assume table-by-table -table replication, and for Salesforce, we expect data as it is produced by the APIs. We call the BigQuery dataset where the source data lands the raw dataset. Once landed, depending on how the integration tool captures and processes changes from source into BigQuery, some data requires further processing. For example, is it just append or does, it, does the solution perform merge or upsets? We call this process CDC for change data capture. To make sure Cortex predefined data models have the latest version of truth for reporting, we provide data processing scripts that can help handle the CDC process as well as the mapping of different field names or formats. We call the BigQuery dataset where this process data lands the CDC process dataset. This data is now reporting ready, reflecting the latest records in the right format. From here, Cortex Data Foundation predefined data models can be used. It's important to note that some integration tools may land data directly into the CDC process dataset, but Cortex processing scripts can help you if the integration tool has not taken care of the change processing already. We recommend landing data in its raw format into Cortex Data Foundation to keep a history of all changes in BigQuery for source to target reconciliation or for specific reporting use cases such as time hopping, etc. If Cortex CDC processing scripts are required, they will need to run as frequently as it makes sense for the data they are processing. For example, a table containing a list of countries will change infrequently, but a table containing records of sales orders will likely need to get refreshed every few minutes. Setting the processing schedule will depend on your unique business needs around performance and cost requirements and can be configured in the Cortex settings.yaml file. There is a default schedule suggested if you are just getting started. Next, the Cortex processing scripts will also require orchestration, monitoring, and alerts in case something goes wrong. Cortex Data Foundation provides templates that work in Cloud Composer, a managed orchestration solution based on Apache Airflow. Scripts scheduled in Airflow are called Directed Acyclic Graphs, or DAGs for short. You can also port the scripts into other scheduling tools of your choice for maximum flexibility. Last but not least, if you are using an integration tool that may land data in the raw dataset with different field names or formats than what Cortex content expects, you can use provided processing scripts to map the raw dataset fields to the expected name and format in the CDC dataset. You can also configure additional fields like custom fields and even your own custom tables or APIs depending on your needs. Now that we have reporting ready process data in our CDC dataset, it's time to configure the reporting layer. Business users will access reporting models from the reporting dataset. Because the access controls for reporting datasets are often different from those where more technical practitioners work like CDC and raw datasets, you may choose to deploy Cortex predefined data models into reporting datasets in different projects to manage access and permissions differently. You can also deploy each workload, like SAP or Salesforce, into separate datasets and projects, depending on your needs. Within the reporting datasets, you have the opportunity to optimize the reporting models based on your unique data volume, performance, and cost requirements. 
You can choose to have a BigQuery view computing results every time it is executed for more lightweight models or a DAG frequently materializing query results into a table. It is also worth looking into setting up partitions and clusters for materialized results, as this will reduce the scan volume every time, improving total cost and time spent for each reporting query. You can find more information and recommendations about those topics in the documentation shown here and linked in the descriptions below. As you can see, Cortex Data Foundation has plenty of options to match your business requirements and control costs. This can change over time and the BigQuery recommender feature we showed can help you find the optimal configuration. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this overview helpful. For more information, please check out the other videos in this series and explore links in the descriptions below. See you.